so I got a quick and easy tutorial coming right out for you guys. Today I'll be showing you how to easily create a stop motion effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So you're gonna step into the middle. Yeah, try to try to take line. a try to take a normal step. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Middle, middle line, middle line. Symmetric, yeah, right? okay. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button. So whenever I have a tutorial like this, you'll be notified. So just look into the camera. So we're gonna keep it that way, yeah. We're gonna keep it consistent. This one, this one, yeah. The GoPro is more for behind the scenes. So the stop motion effect is really, really easy to do. Basically, you're just taking photos of your subject over and over again. So I'll be using Derek as the subject in this video. We're going to focus on Derek's face as our center point in this example. I'm going to be about two to three meters away from him. I want to make sure that I show his whole body in the shot just to make it seem like he's floating the whole time. So it'll probably be better to shoot in manual mode as you can control the focus. But just to make it easier and since we were on a time crunch that day we were shooting, I shot everything in auto. But every time I took a photo, I just made sure that his face was in focus. Now what I'm going to do is snap a photo and then have Derek take a big step forward. I will do the same but then I'll take a big step backwards. The key is to try and keep everything about the same distance. If you feel like you moved a bit too much, you can always just try to readjust. Now I'll be taking about 100 photos which should equal to about 3 to 5 seconds of a stop motion effect. It'll probably turn out better if you use your viewfinder to take your photos, as the camera will snap the photo at almost the same height each time. The way I did it, I used the screen, so all my shots weren't at the same height which did cause some shakiness at the end when stabilizing. So there's two ways to do this. You can use a plugin, which will make your stop motion effect look even better since it'll stabilize it and everything will look very smooth. And the plugin I'm gonna to use today is the one by Pixel Film Studios called FCPX Stabilizer 2.0. And the second method is the free way, but it's not as smooth as doing it with a plugin. I'll show you how to do that as well. Here's how to do it with the plugin. Drag your photos to an event folder. Once they are all loaded on there, highlight each one of them and drag them all to the project timeline. Highlight all of the clips and then right click and change duration by typing in 1 or 2. Delete any of the photos that you don't want to include in the video. Right click and create a new compound clip. Then look for the stabilizer plugin and drag that on top of the newly created single clip. Click on track editor in the inspector tab. This will bring up a box for tracking. Here you'll need to create a square shape around the object or subject that you'll be tracking. So in this example, it'll be his face. Move the red line to the beginning of the clip. Once I'm done that, I will change the tracking type to position and scale, then hit the track button. If the box slightly moves during the tracking process, you can move it over and realign it again, frame by frame if needed. When all that is complete, hit export data. Your footage should now be stabilized and ready to go. Wait for it to render, then color grade and add sound design if you wish. Now to do it the free way is a bit different. You drag your photos to the project timeline and then change the duration to 1 or 2. Again, delete the photos that you don't want to use. Now you will need to export this file first since you're not able to stabilize photos in Final Cut. Export the file and then reload it back into your events folder after. Delete the photos from the timeline then drag the newly created clip to replace it. Now you will have the option to stabilize this clip. In the inspector tab, click on stabilization. Now as you can see, it's not as stable as the one we use with the plugin. Play around with the method options and try settings like smooth cam to see if it helps smooth out your clip. Now which one do you like better? And a special thanks to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. And what I love about Storyblocks is how big their stock footage library is. So if I need a footage for my projects, they'll most likely have it in their library. So say I didn't have time to shoot a stop motion effect like this for one of my videos. I would just hop on to storyblocks.com, find a stop motion footage that I like, download it, and then just insert it into my project. So you can use these clips for whatever type of projects you have, whether it's commercial, personal, or for your YouTube video. And remember, whatever you download is all yours to keep forever. And if you want to try it out, make sure to click on the link in the description down below. It's my time in my prime. This the prime time, pretty content. Are you content? No nonsense. Just a go-getter on a car quest. Hey.